and Lisa, and we hope that you were able to join us last week for our galaxy painting on a canvas or paper. This week we decided to do some marble shaving cream painting. Um, and again, we are going to list some items that you may or may not have at home, but you can also improvise on them as well. So this week, you're gonna wanna have a baking tray or a basin or something to kind of contain your workspace in. And you're gonna wanna have a canvas or watercolor paper. You could even also just use regular paper as well. But the thicker the paper, the better this is gonna work. You're also going to need shaving cream, some food coloring, a spoon or Q-tip to be able to mix the colors into the shaving cream, napkins, and that's it. That's it. So we're gonna start by showing you guys how to do an example on watercolor paper. So what we're going to do is take our shaving cream and we are going to pour it all over and Lisa's gonna fill her basin, I'm gonna fill my baking sheet. And we're each going to take a spoon and we're going to smooth it out. And here's what mine looks like. And for our next step, we are going to pick out colors that we'd like. just a bunch of dots on the shaving cream. So what we're going to use next is our um, Q-tip and we are just gonna swirl it all together. Now we're going to take our paper, we're using the watercolor paper first, and what we're going to do is just place it on top and push it down a little bit. What mine looks like so far. This is what mine looks like so far. Awesome. We're going to lay our pictures down flat and we are going to take some paper towels It's sort of easy if you just get it into like a little ball. You could probably use a sponge too if you have a sponge at home. And what we want to do is just wipe all the shaving cream off. looks like so far and here's what mine looks like and you can see all the cool designs that swirl onto it so when you're done this if you did it on watercolor paper it will just take a few minutes to dry um, and you can do whatever you want after that you can use some sharpies to write maybe your favorite quote or draw another picture maybe add some glitter 
um, but this is the final product of doing it on some watercolor paper. You also could even fold this and turn it into a card, which we sometimes will do. And right now, it might be nice to just send someone a card and let them know you're thinking of them since you can't see them. Absolutely. All right, so now we're gonna try to do one on the canvas to show you an example of how you can do the marble painting on a canvas board. Another project that you really can't go wrong with. I feel like you can get as messy as you want, you can swirl it however you want, there's no right or wrong with this project. And here is this one. I really love the way it comes out on the canvas as well. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us. You can also email us ideas of what you'd like to see next week or in the coming weeks. We hope to do this weekly for you guys. And also feel free to send us um, pictures or ideas of what you guys have already been doing at home as well. Nice to see you guys again. We'll see you next time. Bye.